so hey everyone welcome back to another video so in today's contest will be so in today's video we'll be discussing this uh, question fighting tournament it actually came in today's contest i didn't actually give the contest but i solved this problem of contest so yeah let's directly get let's directly get into the explanation so we are given some athletes and we are given their strengths and strengths all of them lie from one to n and all of them are distinct so basically it is a permutation the strengths are in the form of a permutation and how the tournament is going on basically uh, we are picking the two athletes from the front we are letting them fight and the one who wins stays in the front the one who wins is basically one who has more power he stays in the front and the one who lost goes to the back of the line and we are asked Q questions and we are given some numbers i and k in the form of i and k. So what this query is, how many times the ith person will win given there are k rounds. So we are given, I guess, yeah, 10 days to 5 queries. So it's obvious that we have to answer them in big O1. All the queries have to be answered in big O1. So now let's get to the observation thing. Like what were the main observations required to solve? Like it was a pretty easy problem, but still. So the first observation that was required was the first obje ob observation that was required was um, if a person has lost, if a person has lost once, he won't be able to win again. He can't win again. He can't win again. I think this is pretty much all like it, it was a very obvious observation like if you have lost once you can't win again and, and I'll explain this why so suppose um, let's just say the, our, the array was in the form of 2, uh, 1, uh, 3, uh, let's just say 4, 5 and uh, 6 so if for example we'll let these two fight right two and one will fight and one will obviously lose one will obviously lose so one will obviously lose so one will go over here and it is pretty obvious that in this part there would be a maximum element in this case it is six so if you are going behind the maximum element it is never possible for you to win that is also another observation but we won't need that observation but still if your implementation is different you can use these observations if you are behind the maximum element you can never win so the first logic was if you have lost once that is if you lost once you can't win again because you are going behind you are going behind the maximum element because it like there are only two possibilities like either you lost from the maximum either you lost from the maximum element or the maximum element is somewhere over here these are the two cases right because it is obvious that you are not the maximum element because you lost once if i ask this one he like the one will say to me that i am not the maximum element because i lost to two and i'll be going back now so there are two possibilities either this one like the one you lost from is the maximum element is the maximum element, or the numbers behind you obviously one of like it is a permutation right so one of them has to be maximum so i'll just redraw this again to one th like if i just make a new one so let's just say this was three two four one five so we will let three and two fight after three and two uh, like the result is that three will win so two will go behind and two is going behind five so there is no chance that two will be ever able to win again like two can never win again because he's behind the maximum element and you can never win from the like once the maximum element is at the first you can never win so th this was one important observation so now if we if we can just calculate how many times how many times how many times the ith person is winning before losing how many times the ith person is winning before losing we have our answer but there is also a crack we have to store two things in my implementation we have to store two things how many times the ith person is winning how many times the ith person is winning like it is basically a pair how many times the ith person is before losing obviously right? before losing how many times the ith person is winning and the second one is rounds taken to win this much rounds taken to win this much so, so suppose if you are saying the zeroth index person wins for three times and takes five rounds i'll just explain this in a much better way because this is important so if you are saying that the zeroth index person is three comma five this means that these many times you'll win these many times you'll win 
these many rounds you are needed like you like you're saying i'll win five times like sorry i'll win three times if you give me five rounds and after that i lose and i won't be able to ever win again simple like this is what this like this thing depicts like i will like i will be able to win three times after five rounds and after that when i will lose i won't be able to win ever again so what if i say okay you are saying me that you can win and please note that the wins will be consecutive so let's just say this is four uh three two uh one six so four will defeat three four will defeat two four will defeat one four will lose from six so all the wins are consecutive like if i saying so why we need this i'll explain so if i'm asking him okay you can win three times in this case in this case so let's just say this case this is the zero one two three four index right so consider this zeroth index so in this case the zeroth index is it will say that i can win three times if you give me one two three three rounds right because first round four will defeat three second round four will defeat two third round four will defeat one and in the fourth round four will lose from six but if i am saying this is index right okay this is the index this is the index index of four is zero but if i am saying that okay you need to you, like you you can win three times if i give you three rounds but what if i give you two rounds what if i give you only two rounds he'll say okay then i'll win but then i'll be winning uh two times because as i said the wins are consecutive so he noticed that okay i need three rounds but he's giving me two rounds that means one round less which basically means one win less one round less one round less which basically means one win less so if you're saying that you can win three times given three rounds that basically means if i give you one round less you'll be able to win two times similarly if someone says that i can win uh four times if you give me three rounds this is win this is round then if i say what if i give you two rounds he'll say okay then i'll be able to win three times so this is the logic but there is a small crack that small thing that i'll be explaining in the code now but this was the main implementation and to make this pair it is very simple i'll just show you how like i'll show you one implementation how we are making that uh making this pair so yeah so suppose okay i'll just show you the code it's better that way one second so now please take a look at this code so what i have done is first i've read the array and i've also kept a, a max position like where is the maximum element like like obviously in a permutation of n elements the maximum element is the the one which has the value as n so i've stored the max position and then this is what i'm doing my as i said i'll be using a two pointer my left is zero right is one and how many like which round will be starting right now it will be the first round so notice this if a r are right if a r are right is greater than a r are l then that means the right will be winning the right one would be winning right so take your left to the right one take your left to the right one because now that right will be at the first so l r is basically l basically always state that who is currently at the first position like basically the person who is winning all the time so initially we initialize it with zero and r with one because initially these two people will be fighting and round would be one and after that check if a r r right is greater than a r r l that means the right person was able to defeat you he will be coming just consider this l as the first position the one who is at the first like at the front of the line so l would be r and wins r dot first plus plus wins r dot second round as i said how many wins are needed and these many rounds are needed otherwise l1 otherwise l1 so l will stay at the first only you don't need to uh, move else anywhere sorry you don't need to move l anywhere wins of l dot first plus plus wins of l dot second equals to round and just initialize the round and r obviously has to be r obviously has to be incremented so after you are done with this you'll start reading the queries and you'll just check if win is zero then see out zero you cannot do anything and then i'll check how many rounds are required to win this much that is wins of p dot second rounds required to win this much is wins of p dot second and if i am given more rounds i'll explain this part this is a bit tricky if i'm given more rounds that means i can easily establish my goal so because as i said like uh if suppose zero says i need 
three wins like i'll be able like listen to my words clearly that i'll be able to win three times given five rounds so if i give you seven rounds you can all you can win three times right because you need you need five i gave you seven so wins of p dot first otherwise the difference as i showed you in the video the difference would be the answer like if i give you less rounds you'll be able to win those many times less so you have to subtract that from your answer but there is a small crack to this question uh that i'll be explaining up here what if i say you uh let's just say this is six okay i'll change the color one second yeah so suppose uh this was six uh five four three two one so if i now write zero with index win so zero with index will win one two three four five he will win five times in five rounds but what if I give you 10 rounds like sorry what if I give you 7 rounds if I ask you okay 6 you need to win 5 times in 5 rounds what if I give you 7 rounds he'll say then I'll be able to win 12 times because I'm the maximum element I don't I'll, I'll always be able to win if you're giving me more rounds if you're giving me more rounds I'll, so let's just uh, simulate this okay 6 5 4 3 2 1 first round 6 1 so 6 4 3 2 1 5 Again, he won six three two one five four six two uh, one five four three six one five four three two six five four uh, three two one. You see, I won of I won a total of five times, and again I'll continue to win because I needed only five rounds. But you gave me more rounds, and I'm the maximum element. If I'm the maximum element, I'll continue to win. If you give me more rounds, I'd also win in those also because I'm the maximum element so that's what I implemented here so if you see this so you will see that I'm I'm only adding this element if my p is equals to the max position that's why I stored the max position up here if my p is the max position that means if you're giving me extra rounds I will still win those rounds because I'm the maximum element so that was the whole logic just try simulating this one it's very easy to simulate it's a two pointer standard technique just remember that l is the person who is at the first who is at the front of the line and if ar right is greater than arl that means the front will change now because ar right defeated ar l so first will change to r and r1 so you have to increase that otherwise l won't change and l will stay at the first and you have to increment r always and increment round so this was a simple two pointer technique i stored my i made my map like this so yeah that's it for this video thank you